Did I miss it? No, you're still Did I miss it? You're right in time. Two dudes. One base. I didn't miss it. You nope, just you just right started. Time. Right on time. Did I interrupt your plan? No. Keep playing, please. Dude, that's some vintage. That's some good vintage P good yeah. right there. Breakdown. Awesome. Sounds good, man. Alright, I am Steve Araujo from the Bass Hang. Howard Elliott, Elliott Instruments. So we are here, two bass, two, two bass, two dudes. I don't even know my show. I don't even know the show. Two dudes, one bass. There you go. Oh, and by the way, this is the bass. That's the base we're talking about. Right now, this is a Nordstrand. Nordstrand. It's a Nordstrand P base. Built carry Nordstrand. I think it's VP five or okay. VP 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 four. This is a four string. So yeah, a P base or it's a Nordstrand P style base. Right. It's kind of his take on what a fifty seven P base would be like. That's all. Now, how long have you had this base? About five years. And you play this a lot. I play this base quite a bit. Okay. A lot. One yeah. of your main bases. One of the definitely one of the main bases okay. that I play. Nice. I just love this thing. It's really lightweight. It's swamp, it's swamp ash, two-piece body. Wow. It's shot with uh, lacquer, with okay. a lacquer finish on the neck and, and and the body. Okay, so it is a, like a gloss finish. It's gloss. Okay. It's uh, do you get the sticky feel? No. No. Okay. No. Some people kind of freak out about that and they say, "Oh, they're sticky," and I don't know what. I don't. I don't have that problem with my. Uh, you know, some people Your get hands. get that. Uh, Funk fingers. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that problem. Cool. All right. Tell me more about the base. What? Uh, it's yeah. bone stock. Aside from, I mean, he, Carrie, Carrie came to me and said, Howard, you got to try this base. You just got to try this base. And I'm like, eh, I don't need another base. I don't yeah. need to try it. And yeah. he put it in my hands, and then it basically has never left. Wow. I walked out of the shop with it, and then we worked really? it out. Really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, pickup? It's a North Strand pickup. North Strand P-Base pickup, which are great. This thing is I have, great. Yeah. Yeah. There, I have a bass that has this P bass pickup uh, on a five strand. It's just, it's slamming. Yeah. It's a great, great pickup. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, you know, I, this bass is just so perfect. There was no point in me mm -hmm. wanting to, like, experiment with it or try other pickups. Yeah. Because it just, it's if it more, works. Yeah. If it ain't broke, why right? fix it? Why fix it? Why fix it? Yeah, I hear that. And I got it strung. Now I got it strung up. Uh, your suggestion, the, the what they are the Labella, 1954. The uh, they're they're basically like the old like Jamerson set, and they're like 55 to 110. They're so crazy. they're just crazy thick. <laughs> yeah. And big, or it sounds like it, but I um I was a little skeptical, but I have a bass that has them on, and once you get the bass set up to the way you like it, it does not feel it, it that gauge. It just kind of goes out the way. I don't know. It, it it just doesn't make sense. It just feels like a normal, normal, yeah, set of strings. I think the trick is you got to run the tr truss rod. You know, you run the really r r almost no relief. So the truss, you know, so you're you're flat. Your fingerboard is going to be flat. And you can get away with that with flat ones. And then yes, and then you no run the strings so much lower. Cool. So this is the and this is a fairly newer set, or have you had the set on there for a while? About a month. About a month. Okay, cool. Yeah, they'll break in. We'll come nice. back in a year and see how. And they'll be killer. Yeah. So yeah, they're the Labella, and I, again, I think it's they're called the original 1954 set or something. Yeah, it's something close to that. You, you can find them. So cool. Well, I like to call them these burly cables. Burly cables, but yeah, I, they don't feel like that. I don't know. They they once it's once the base is set up, they don't feel big and thick. So yeah, let's take. Um, I was gonna say take me to some tones, but have you? You're touring and going. Do you take this base with you, or do you take another base with you? Just wonder. I'm just wondering. Uh, when I when I go out, when I travel, I, I take not so nice bases. <laughs> got it. Got it. Um, Stuff that you is more expendable and replaceable. Yeah. Okay. Right. This was in an era where Kerry Nordstrand was building quite a number of bases on a regular basis. Basis on the basis. Bases on the basis. Yeah. So, whereas I think now he's kind of slowed down because he just wants to do special order stuff or he wants to do projects that are more passion projects of mm -hmm. his. Yeah. And I think build, he just wants to build bases that are kind of that he wants to build. Interesting to him. Interesting to him, yeah, that he wants to build. So this was in an era where he was actually making kind of stock jazz, stock P-style bases mm -hmm. regularly. Yeah. Like a few a year or whatever, you know, dozen a year or whatever it was. So. Yeah. 
Nice. And this and they is were one all... of the magic combinations that came out of it. Yeah. I'm so happy. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Try man. it, Steve. Cool. Oh, sorry. Ooh, the feels nice and smooth. It does. I like the. I like that. <laughs> So that's wide open. Mm -hmm. You're shut. And then about halfway. I like the big, that's a big, like original neck, right? That's like yeah, a, one and three quarter. One and three quarter. Yeah, but the shape this way isn't so so big that it doesn't feel yeah. cumbersome. It plays. Well, it plays nice, man. Beautiful. It plays easy. But I, what I'm talking about uh, is the these pots. They feel nice. They feel nice and smooth. They're not too fast. They're, I don't know what kind of pots it is. I don't know what, I, I don't know. I like I've them. never looked in there. I've never opened it up. They feel great. They feel really nice. I'll give you a good deal on them. No, they I'm feel, kidding. You can't have them. They have some, a little bit of resistance to them. They feel nice. I like this bass, man. It's very responsive. Yeah. You can get those, even with a P bass pickup and the tone rolled back, you still can't get those. Up, um, is that a one piece neck? One piece neck? Totally just one piece, like old school. Yeah. Old school neck. Hip wow. shot, bridge, and tuners. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Well, what else? That's just great. Number 37. It says 37. I mean, it plays. It plays. Since you changed over to flats, what's what's your take on the flats? So far, I'm really liking these these strings a lot. Okay. I've had other flats over the years. Like I've tried a set of flats and I mm. put them on and be like, eh, I could do without it. Yeah. These are these are pretty different um, in a good way. Yeah. I, I really like them. I really like them a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. They've just got that nice, nice deep thumpy sound. These. You know, they kind of sit in a mix with the rest with the rest of the guys in the band really, really well. And you can go from a modern thing to a traditional thing. I mean, obviously not slap and that high end kind of, you know, twinkly stuff. But no, no, not that, not that. But you can play a top forty gig with it. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> which is fine. That's cool. Man. Yeah, that sounds great, man. And is that the original pick guard? Mm -hmm. Okay, the like gold? they did the gold anodized. Yeah. anodized. Yeah. Yeah. Just okay. like fifty seven. Wow. Yeah, it's a 57. I mean, essentially, yeah. it's Carrie's take on what a 57 should be like. Nice. Yeah. Plays great, sounds great. Sounds great when you're playing it, man. And I like that pickup a lot, too. It's a, yeah. It's a really good pickup. It's a home run bass. Yeah. I'll have this bass forever. Nice. Unless I, you know, buy it or you give it to me. I might give it to him. Yeah, see, that's kind of nice. I might. For doing this show. Right. It means so much. And cash. And cash. Cool. All right, play us out. Give us a little. I like those strings a lot, man. I can't get over those it. Good. Yeah. Especially playing with your thumb and palm muting. Yeah, it's very cool. Nice. Good blues. Good for the blues. Yeah. R and B, country, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah. You can't really beat a P bass for a lot of things. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. There's something so awesome and understated and simple about the P bass. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's almost too simple that it's, you know, it's deceptively people, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> people dismiss them really easily, which is kind of a drag. So yeah. but when you get into your gig and you have you know, you're, yeah. you're playing well, you got good strings, good band, good amp. Yeah. Man, it's hard to it's And if you get a good P bass too. There's a lot of different ones out there, so you gotta get one that just kinda gets you. <laughs> so, yeah, you gotta yeah. One that works for you, so very cool, man. Yeah. All right. Anything else? I think we've covered it. I think we've covered it.
covered the entire thing. That's a beautiful bass. Sounds great, plays great. Looks awesome too, man. Some of Carrie's great work right there, Carrie Nordstrand. Just beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, Carrie. Absolutely. So, all right, guys. This has been Steve Araujo and Howard Olyat with Two Dudes, One Bass. See, I got it right. Two Dudes, One Bass. Let me do it this way. I'm going to say Two Dudes, One Bass. We'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye, kids.